here, barely. Miano almost kept that one on. She slowed it down by diving out, extending the stick. A quick had a power play, and BC is able to kill it off. But here's Paige Voigt with a chance to break the other way. Voigt towards the net is tipped. That time a wraparound is not kept out. Paige Voigt has opened the scoring. It's 1-0. She comes in with speed, crossing the blue. Eagles on their heels, protects it there, finds a rebound, and puts in the wraparound. She just kept that speed. That could have been disastrous for the Eagles, but Maury could not get a stick on it. Good job by that penalty kill and Paige Voigt right there to skate it quickly down the ice. Just about halfway through the power play are the Eagles, and they finally get on the board. Katrin Lonergan will find Daryl Watts. Eagles. Let's take Goal. another look at how it happened. Goal starts right there. Look at how far the DR back. It's an easy entry for the Eagles. And then from there, it's a tic-tac-toe. That starts with the defender. Olsen's got to hold that blue right here. Not even contesting her at the line. we got to hold that line. Talk about it all the time as a penalty kill. Um, if they can't get in the zone, they won't score goals. Sorensen coming here defensively. Lonergan trying to find some space on the offensive end. It's again controlled. This Belinskis into the middle. There's one that beats off the glove of Ridgewell. Tony Anmiano ties it up at two. That's I think it might have got deflected in the slot before it got to Ridgewell. Uh, my eyes could have been playing tricks on me here. Tough to see from that angle, but definitely tipped off a glove like you mentioned. I, saw, I thought I saw a tip in the middle because it looked like it changed direction. Cross-checking by Bizal is the call. BC now with a skater all the way out in front. It's Lonergan, shorthanded. She beats Ridgewell. It's 3-2 BC. Got way out in front of everybody else. And by the time she did that, Ridgewell had already made the decision to stay back. And that is a big time lapse there defensively for Merrimack. It leads to a third straight goal for the Eagles. To add to their 3-2 lead. Miano in the top from the point, sends it back into the faceoff circle for Watts. Centering pass and a score for Newkirk. Beautiful assist from Watts and Newkirk. It's a 4-2 lead for BC. This is good stick placement here. You can see pucks can work to the outside. And just uh, I thought it was a pretty gritty win for us. Uh, we went down to <laughs> two nothing, awesome. and uh, you know I really like the way we re we responded to that. Um, you know we haven't been down a whole lot this year, and, and to see our players uh, respond with that and with a couple of quick goals was uh, was really good for us. And, and overall, I thought it was a great end to the first half of the season. Uh, yeah, you know we talked about finding ways to score goals in that second period. We knew we were going to have to, uh, uh, you know, get some gritty goals. And I, I, you know, when you put her and Daryl on the ice together, they're pretty special. And, and I thought, uh, you know, that was, the, I think, the one that kick-started it. And then, um, and then uh, you know, I thought Katrin just really, yeah, I mean, I think she took control. She wanted to win this game and, and really helped, uh, helped her teammates out. Yeah, you know, this is a, you know, this is always an interesting time because, you have exams, and you go home for a little bit, and then we're back at it. So, uh, so we'll we'll keep preparing once we get back at it, and, and give them a little bit of a break here, and, and try to get some rest, and get some of the, the bumps and bruises healed, and, and uh, sicknesses, um, and uh, and get back at it, and, and, and come back up here on January second. Yeah, I think we all got really pumped up. Obviously, a little aggravated um, with them scoring two goals, but I think it fired us up a little bit and wanted us to, you know, who's going to get that first goal. And once one came, we all started shooting and it kept on coming. Yeah, I think I think our team actually got better every single game. We started working on uh, things in practice that need to get a little bit better, and we saw that in the games. And we were able to do the little things that Kinger and Court and Courts were talking about, and I think that really helped us. And hopefully, we can take that and bring it to next semester. Yeah, we're excited. Definitely gonna relax, but also stay in shape and get ready for the next semester because we know it's big.